Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Monday market webcast. Okay, hope everybody uh, had a good weekend. Hope everybody's safe. Hope everybody is healthy. Daily chart. So they they hopped it up to 28.19 and change right off the Sunday open, and they took it straight down, um, rejected it immediately to the tune, ultimately, of about 100 handles. Your low of, the, uh, of Globex is 27.17. It's rallied off of that now, um, uh, trade about 27.60, 27.61. You can see it trying to get involved with the upper level. It did that on Friday. You can see it has tested uh, the 50 day as well. Um, let's just go right over to the hourly chart. So there's your, there's your hop up, bump into the upper band, down to 27.17, and then basically just kind of flat lined after that. So it's been up a little bit from where it was last night. We tried to do some setups last night early on, and it was just in the 40s, 50, um, and it was just kind of a 10 handle chop range. So I, you know, I decided to just put it away, and, and um, we're flat, and we'll very likely be just flat in the open unless something just really jumps out and says, I, you, you've got to, you, you've got to make me a setup. Um, as we get into today, you see the new weekly pivot, 26.93. Uh, the nine day and the monthly are hooked up down there um, and, and your daily pivot is much below. The, the, the bigger picture is that the Bulls um, defended every metric that they had to defend last week. They won, um, they won the weekly pivot, they won the monthly pivot, um, they took out the nine day and they have been bumping now for three days in a row, one, two, and three. Uh, against the upper band. So we're in an upper band ride. Um, and the thing I would encourage people to try to avoid in this, whether this is the beginning of a leg up or the secondary move from a leg up after establishing daily mid band and, and, and the other things that I've mentioned weekly, monthly as support, or whether this is just some great big bear market rally. And a lot of that depends on what I would say your underlying bias is with regard to the markets in general. Whatever your persuasion, do not fight price. Do not fight price. This thing will will this thing will will tie you up to the bumper of of the uh, of a squeeze bus and drag you all the way down the road if you let it. Um, if the thing wants to go up. What we do is, if it wants to go up, fine, let's go. If that's the direction that the handles are headed in, do that. Don't fight price. Don't fight price. Moves like this and, you know, have already gone and could continue to go farther and faster than you want them to go. And because it's not about what you want, what you think, or how you feel, it's about what price wants to do. And price for the last six, seven sessions wants to go higher, and that's it. That's all that matters. So getting into the open today, here's a five minute chart and you can see just how nasty it open that was. Let's get all, let, let's sweep all the shorts out and then take the longs and absolutely kill them for a hundred handles. I mean, that's basically, you know, and that was over the course of 20 minutes. So this thing remains incredibly volatile and you know, we covered all of our stuff into the weekend. Um, and it, you might as well, you know, it saves you the, the trouble of being on either the wrong side of the gap or just getting, you know, just getting whipped around. It's, you know, um, the gaps have been juicy, but they have been pretty hard to trade. And the, and the gap risk over a three day weekend was, I, I, I'm not sure that it was worth it in, in any, in any respect. It's a long time to hold. In an environment like this, there's a lot of things that can happen. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. There's a lot of things that can go right, depending on where you are. So I have not been holding into the weekends lately. Um, so for the open today, you can see what it did up, down, and then, you know, we've just kind of been hanging out little move to the upside here. Um, it's brushing into the daily pivot at 66. You've got volume weighted average price basically at 50. Our proprietary moving average is just underneath there at 48. Uh, five minute mid band, 54 and change. So it's a Monday. Um, I think I think at the end of the day, there will be a clear winner 
clear, clear loser by the end of the day, but I expect the open to be whippy and choppy and try to pick your pocket a little bit, so be prepared for that. Um, uh, the hourly mid band's at 57. So, you know, 50 to 70 or 50 to 65, 66 is gonna be key. That sounds really wide, but it's in this volatility, it's really not. And, um, and, and the back end of that situation is because it's volatile, 15 handles can trade like one and a half handles very easily. So don't get chewed up. What we're gonna do in the room is, we're gonna, we're gonna let this thing open up. We'll see what, what it can do to the extent it can show us where risk is and then we'll trade it. Um, but don't go nuts taking a million trades off the open, especially on a Monday. All right, everybody have a fantastic day. Uh, there'll be more stuff out on social. Uh, we're gonna be announcing some webinars, um, some other stuff coming up that I wanna do uh, between now and the end of the month. So be on the lookout for that. Um, take care, be healthy, be safe, trade them well, come join us in the room. I'll talk to you tomorrow.